We are right in the middle of the first round of the NCAA men's basketball tournament, and there's still a ways to go before two teams face off for the title in Minneapolis. Of course, during that time, 62 teams will fall and a lot of brackets will be busted, but fans from across the country are enjoying the ride. It's all a part of the process. The journey is the destination. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennedy is live tonight with some fans in Roanoke. Lindsay, uh, all eyes on the Virginia teams right now. There are so many fans here. I'm at All Sports Cafe in Roanoke. Just take a look behind me. It is packed from wall to, mall to wall. There is not a seat left in this bar. Of course, people came to grab a drink, a bite to eat, and watch some basketball. Well, I stopped off at lunchtime to try to talk with some fans, and it might not surprise you, but a lot of them didn't want to talk on camera they, because they'd actually called out sick from work just to watch this tournament. But I did catch up with one fan who got an early start on the weekend. A beer, a bar stool, and a basketball game. Or two or three. Alan Varney says it's the perfect way to spend an afternoon. There's not much of a better day to take half a day off on a Friday and be able to watch the ball games. Yeah, there's, it, it doesn't get a whole lot better than that. All sports cafe bartender Caitlin Pissionary says they're stocking up on food, beer, and tuning into the tournament. We're definitely going to be busy with the Virginia game, the Duke game, I think Tech plays. So it's in the name, March Madness. Varney's rooting for UNC, but if a game's on, you can guess where he'll be. College basketball, uh, pretty, pretty much of a diehard fan. Yeah, we, uh, if there's a game on and I have time, I'll watch it. So who did this Tar Heels fan pick to win it all? Oh, uh, unfortunately, I picked Duke. Yeah, as a Carolina fan, that hurts to say that, but yeah, I had to. <laughs> All right, well, you can tell just how much it hurt him to say that. Well, Varney went home to watch the rest of the games, but you can tell that people are staking out the seats to settle in for the night. Live in Roanoke, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.